Hi everyone, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the cleaning cycle on a Euro Espresso machine. Behind me I have two machines, I've got the S8 and the D6, but the method that I'm going to be using applies to any Euro machine, it's all basically the same. When the machine asks you for a cleaning, these are the procedures that you're going to follow. I'm going to do a cleaning for each one of these machines so you can see the differences and you can apply it to your own machine. The only thing that you need to clean your machine are cleaning tablets. And I have a pack of six right here, but they do come in different sizes. And Euro recommends only to use original cleaning products to clean Euro machines. So I'm going to start with the S8. I'm going to clean this one first. And I'm going to do that because it's super easy. It has this large digital display. And every Euro machine will ask for a cleaning tablet. It will tell you when it's time to clean it. And in all of them, it's pretty much the same. You go into the menu. And that's usually by pressing the P button. And I'm going to scroll to the cleaning menu and then to the group cleaning menu. And here you'll actually also see an indicator. I'm about halfway through, but I'm going to do it early, of course, for this video. Uh, but that indicates as how far away I am from a cleaning. I'm going to press that there. And it says it takes approximately 20 minutes. It's actually usually a little bit faster than that. but. Uh, and then I press the start button. And with this machine, it tells you everything you need to do in words and in pictures. Like I said, it's very, very easy. Of course, we get the uh, warning to use only uh, original Euro cleaning products. I click the start button. It tells me to empty the grounds container, which I've already done. It's empty and my drip tray is also empty. So I'm going to pull that out and put it back in. It tells me to put pictures on both sides. And I have two pictures ready here. I've got my containers to go underneath here and this will capture the water that comes out. I press next and the machine will begin its cycle. In a few moments, I mean it's going to run some water through these and in a few moments it's going to ask me for the cleaning tablet and I'll show you how to do that. So now the machine is telling me to add my cleaning tablet and the cleaning tablet goes into the bypass doser. Uh, and every Euro machine will have this. Not every machine has a bypass doser, but everyone has the chute for it. And on the S8, it's back here. It's the one on the left. And I take my cleaning tablet and I just pop it in there, close it up, and press next. And the machine does the rest. Now you can basically walk away. There, there's not much more that you need to do. It's all an automated process. And what it's doing, it's cleaning that brew unit uh, with detergent, making sure that any residual oils, any residual coffee or tannin is cleaned uh, to keep your machine uh, clean and making great tasting coffee. So while the S8 is cleaning, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on the D6. The D6 is a little bit different because it doesn't have the screen, so it just has this interface on the left, which is just in text, but the cleaning process is very much the same. Again, I'm going to hold down the P button to get into the menu, and the cleaning option is under the rinse part of this menu. So I go into rinse, and the first option is M rinse, which stands for milk rinse or milk clean. I'm going to skip those and just go to the cleaning cycle. And again, I'll press the button for cleaning. It's going to ask me to empty the drip tray. So you do have to remove it and make sure that it's, uh, that, that it's empty. Mine is empty. I, I've got my uh, dreg drawer and drip tray empty. And I press the rinse button now. And it's good to put a container underneath and now the machine says press rinse, so I just press the rinse button, which is this button here. And the cleaning cycle is going to start. And first it runs some water through, just like the S8 did. Uh, but it's going to ask me for a cleaning tablet in just a moment. And now you see the machine is asking to add the tablet. And the tablet is exactly the same as on every Euro machine and you put it into the bypass doser. The bypass doser on the D6 is right up here and I just put the tablet, I drop it in there, close and I'm ready to go. I press the rinse button once again and the machine uh, continues the cleaning cycle. And again, it's going to take about 15 minutes or so. Uh, it, everything is automatic. You don't need to do anything else. 
So now the S8 is almost finished. It's asking me to empty the grounds container. So I'm gonna put these aside and pull this out. Uh, you'll see some water inside your drip tray and inside your grounds container. You just wanna empty that out. So I've emptied all this out. I put it back into the machine and the machine is ready to use. You can now start making coffee once again. So the cleaning cycle is now complete. The machine says empty tray, so I'll remove my pitcher from here. It's almost full, there's quite a bit of water inside there. And I pull out the tray, and again, I'm gonna have water inside the dreg drawer and the drip tray, and I just have to pour that out. So I've emptied my tray, and I just slide it back into place. And that's it, the cleaning cycle is complete, the machine is ready to make coffee once again. At idrinkcoffee.com, we always stress how important maintenance is. A clean machine simply makes better coffee. If you have any questions about how to clean your Euro machine, please reach out and ask us for help. We're always ready and happy to offer it. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, more tutorials on how to maintain your machine and presentations about espresso and coffee equipment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.